when you consider about receiving the, you know, you have royalties, so I suppose you have the idea that you have royalties. Then, yes, those royalties become your income, and then, and then you need to think about, like, okay, this is my income, so, and what is the associated expenses, right? So typically, if you have the income, you have expenses, then you have the profit, then you pay the tax for your profit. So you need to think about how you want to pack your income and where you want to pack your your expenses. Because if you have a company that on, only incurring expenses but not having income, then then you need to think about how you finance it, how how you actually pay the bill. So so then you may have like a BVI sitting there getting a a, a royalty income, and then you have an operating company actually hiring people, but then how you get your royalty to back to the Hong Kong company and pay for all the expenses, it is all doable. So you have to think about you have to balance uh, the, the cash flow, the cash flow, right? I mean, you got cash here, and then you get the inflow here, and the outflow there, and how you match it up. Um, and so there will be two companies, let's say, then there will be intercompany transactions, right? So there will be additional consideration to think about whether you know the, the relation of these two companies, whether it's a parent or subsidiary, or are they failed company or are they related, the holding structure, who is the ultimate shareholders. So that that's like a, it's a bigger question as in like just the where the IP can tap to which entity. But you need to think about the cash flow, you need to think about the intercompany transactions and whether like if it's a parent and subsidiary, then obviously the, the parent will be you know, invest into the subsidiary and then bring in the capital. That's one sense. So if that company actually make money, then how to take the money out? So whether you declare a dividend back to the parent and right. you as a shareholder of the parent, then you take the dividend. So when you take the dividend, whether you subject to tax uh, in Hong Kong, yes, there's no dividend tax. There's not. There's no withholding tax, which is a good thing. Um, yeah, so there are there are quite a lot of like consideration in terms of when you start having multiple entities and how you you know how how this whole different part are actually act together.